What's up guys? Welcome back to another slice of John's life. I'm John Huynh and today we're going to be doing a chocolate tasting video. So my friend Anthony went to Japan maybe a month ago now and he dropped off this box of Royce Hokkaido Airport exclusive chocolate box for me and he told me to make a video and tell me what was in here. I haven't had a chance to go to do this yet since I had to go to Disneyland and as soon as I got back from SoCal, I was so busy doing other things. So I was putting this off for a long time. I hope the chocolate is still good. I'm, I'm guessing it's still good. But today we're going to be opening up and seeing what's in here together. As you guys may know, I started off as a food influencer in the social media world before I uh, joined YouTube. I was on Instagram for two and a half years. And in the Bay Area, I was doing food marketing, food promotion and all that good stuff. So, you know, I'm not shy about doing uh, food testing and stuff like that. As you guys can see in my so-called vlogs that I posted already, you know, I'm pretty comfortable eating on the camera and stuff like that. So chocolate should be a piece of cake. So I, I'm i usually not a huge chocolate person and excuse me, I'm gonna take my time to open this cause uh, I don't wanna ruin the wrapping but I never really appreciate chocolate that much. You know, I, other than the most typical American chocolate brand, like, you know, Reese's Pieces, Crunch, Almond Joy, and all that stuff, you know, typical American stuff you get for uh, Halloween for trick or treating and stuff like that. I never really ventured out of gourmet chocolate per se. Other, like the highest I'd probably say would be like, Lindor or Lint uh, chocolate um, and then most recently they've been uh, man I forgot what it's called but it's a pretty expensive European chocolate I forgot what it's called but um, they have like these chocolate barks that's the majority of what they sell um, some European brand but other than that, I don't really venture out towards, you know, Asian chocolates, stuff like that. Right, let's see if I can slide this box out on this end without having to open it up anymore. And it seems like I can. Okay. So here it says Royce, as you can see, and then nothing on the sides. And the back just has some Japanese writing. I took Japanese in college for one year, um, but I completely forgot now. I don't know how to read anymore, unfortunately. I just never used the language for anything. So what a waste. Same with my Korean too. I took Korean in college as well, and now I don't know how to read and write anymore. Okay, so as soon as I open it, I see that it is pretty well packaged inside, has little bubble wraps in there. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, we'll get closer. And then on top of the lid, there is some Japanese hiragana or katakana, which is their alphabet. And don't know what they say, but seems like there is three, six, seven, eight, nine different items in here, uh, which they also describe. You know, you would think that when you buy this chocolate at an airport, it would be English friendly, but you know what? That's fine. Okay, so based off what I see here, it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight items. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's supposed to be nine, so I might have missed something. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Yeah, there is nine different things in here then. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Go through everything shall we so we got some chocolate wafers right here <sighs> gotta be mindful not let my face focus on the camera so we got chocolate wafers so that one's probably strawberry and then we have another chocolate wafer in a brown bag so i'm guessing this is chocolate and then over here we have these thin little cookie sheet thingies. I'll grab both of the different flavors here. Very nice packaging by the way. I really like this, I'm really digging it. 
Okay. And then this is called a berry cube. Profil some something in French. Chocolate. So there's that. And then this one says milk chocolate collection. And then these are just like basically really thin tiles of chocolate, like really thin. So that's really interesting. Okay, and then everything is sliding because of the angle on the table. So I'm gonna try to adjust that. Okay, and then here we have a our chocolate. So it's literally a chocolate, a piece of chocolate with a letter R on it. And it's it has a red wrapper, so I don't know what that means, what flavor that's supposed to be. And then this one is a R chocolate as well. So it's like an oval with an R stamp on it. And this one has a blue wrapper, so I don't know what that means. And then over here we have two other really thin things. So we'll start with this one. And this one says Royce Pure Chocolate. And then it has the letter sweet. It has writing sweet on it. Excuse me, sorry. And then it's like a chocolate coin with some waves on it. It's like little ridges. And this one looks like a white chocolate version. So yeah, so this says uh, Royce Pure Chocolate, but instead of sweet, the lettering says white, so. Um, the other one's sweet chocolate, and this one's white chocolate, I guess. Interesting. Okay. And then, last but not least, we have these, like, wafer thingies. I'm trying to grab them. Okay. So, this says Royce Bar Chocolate. So, it looks like, it looks like it's cashew? Some kind of nut. It looks like cashew to me. Cashew and maybe macadamia. So here we go. That's what that looks like. Okay. So since we're doing a taste testing, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of everything and try it. So we will prep the table here. So it's really interesting because in this entire box, you have multiples of everything with the lowest quantity of being two of it, that specific piece. But for some reason, these are chocolates. You only get one of each. So that's really unfortunate because I was hoping to um, save some for my friend Anthony so maybe in this video I won't eat these and I'll just save it for my friend Anthony and then me and him can split them in half so for the sake of the video we're not gonna eat that but we got um, seven other things that we can eat though two four six seven yes so seven other items two, four, six, seven. Seven. actually should there be another one no 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 seven's right Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this and then take one out and then put the rest back inside. Very clean. Okay. Okay, I don't know why it's having a hard time going back in, but all right, whatever. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and start with one of these really thin chocolate tiles. So this is really thin, like really thin piece of chocolate. And of course it's uh, not opening, there we go. Okay, so it's literally a tile of chocolate and it says Royce on it, printed um, two times across. No, four times across actually, okay. Hmm. So it's a pretty standard piece of milk chocolate. Nothing crazy. I wouldn't say it's anything crazy. Yeah, it's got a bit of a sweetness to it. Not overly sweet. Pretty good. 
And then this next one we have is called the Berry Cube. And it's very similar in size. It's, you know, that really thin tile. And then it says the same thing, Royce, four times across. Mmm. Okay. Now that one is way better than the milk chocolate by itself. So, so this one in the middle, uh, when I got to the middle, it's got like this almost like a syrupy or jam-like uh, berry, some kind of syrup in there, and it tastes kind of like raspberries. I think that's a uh, raspberry in there. That's really good. I actually like this one. It's a bit sweeter because of that raspberry syrup in there, or I don't know the correct terms of anything chocolatey. You know, I like I like to enjoy chocolate, but I don't have the terms and definition down. So you're gonna have to excuse me because uh, I'm not an expert. <clears throat> okay, next we're gonna do one of these uh, pure chocolates, Royce Pure Chocolate, and we'll do this dark one again. And then we'll save the white for after. Okay, so that's what it looks like outside of the wrapper. You see the ridges? Okay, so it definitely had a, uh, almost like a hard, hard texture of a chocolate. Um, it's also pretty sweet. I would also say this is probably a milk chocolate. I mean, on the wrapper, it did say it was supposed to be a sweet chocolate. Um, and that's exactly like that. Uh, I definitely like that one a bit more than the tile one um, in terms of flavor and the texture too. Uh, other than that, pretty basic piece of chocolate. I definitely, so far, definitely that berry one is my favorite. Okay, now I'm moving on to the white chocolate. So, I know white chocolate is fake chocolate um, in the chocolate world. I'm actually a fan of white chocolate. I just like the, the flavor of it. But again, I know it's probably a lot of sugar, so let's go ahead and see what it's like. Oh, I dropped it. Mm. Okay, that's about the most basic white chocolate I've ever had in my life. It just tasted pretty sweet. That's about it. Nothing crazy. Okay, that was kind of disappointing. Definitely the weakest hitter so far, that white chocolate. It was just literally a pure piece of white chocolate. So, I mean, if that's if that's what the name implies, then I guess they hit it right on the, right on the, right on the head. Okay, so now we have a chocolate wafer. We're trying out this pink one. I'm guessing it's probably strawberry, strawberry flavored or something. We're gonna find out. So that's what that looks like inside. Okay, that's just a chocolate wafer. There's nothing in here. It's just chocolate. Okay. Hmm. I swear in that second bite it had something a bit tart to it, but I couldn't taste anything flavor-wise besides that tartness. All right. So I'm guessing this one is probably a dark chocolate. It definitely does look darker. It smells darker. I actually like this one. Um, the dark chocolate wafer is actually really good. Definitely not a bit more flavorful than the uh, the red one, or the pink one. Okay, it's not overly bitter, not overly sweet. Um, the pink one was a bit sweet. This one, really good, I like this one. 
Okay. Last but not least, we have our Royce Bar Chocolate with some kind of nuts in it. It looks like cashews and macadamia. So, let's go ahead and open it up. You guys hear that? Mmm. Okay. Ooh. So, it's almost like a Kit Kat bar. You guys can see that? It's like a Kit Kat. Kit Kat or a Toblerone. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Okay, so in terms of texture out of all of these, this one's the winner. This one's probably closer to a, um, think of it as a Kit Kat, but inside is crunch, like the crunch filling, because it has like a, more of like a Rice crispy texture to it than um, wafers, like a Kit Kat. Um, I don't really taste the nuts too much in this. To be honest, if somebody handed me this chocolate bar and didn't tell me there's nuts in it, I would probably say it tastes like a very subtle hint of almonds or peanuts. Not cashew or macadamia because if you look at this label, you can definitely see there's macadamia on here, pecan, and almond. Okay, so it looks like there is a picture. I mean, this is really deceiving because in the picture, on the wrapper, it shows you like a little bit of everything. Pecans, cashew, macadamia, and then almonds. All I can taste is almonds of anything. But that rice crispy texture in there, really good. Okay. Well, well, that's pretty much it for this Royce Hokkaido Airport variety pack. I don't know how much this is. I'll have to ask Anthony, but you know, even for someone who doesn't appreciate chocolate like me, I would say that this is a pretty weak chocolate tasting experience um definitely not anything crazy i think everything that i've tasted today is pretty simple besides the one with the berry in it everything else is you know pretty average uh, to my taste buds so definitely not worth getting if you are somewhat um i guess and you know somewhat <clears throat> aware of chocolates and you know value quality chocolate this is whatever, you know, nothing crazy here. I would probably say you can skip it and move on and save your money and buy better chocolate. You know, I'm surprised that there's no matcha or other exclusive like Japanese flavors in here. Everything has been so far either French based or American based. So, you know, nothing crazy. But that's gonna be it for my video. Hope you guys found this interesting. Um, I didn't expect this chocolate tasty video to be 20 minutes long. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys stick to the end, I appreciate your time with me and I'll see you guys on the next video. John Quinn out. Peace.